Hey guys, Kev here in the truck, baby. It's been a long time since I've shown you the truck. So anyway, I want to do an EDC update for July. Um, it's been a while. I can't remember the last time I did an EDC update. I can't remember the last time I did a face cam EDC update. I'm pretty sure the last time I was in the truck on a video like this was like Mother's Day or April. Um, because it was my mom's birthday or something and I went to get flowers and I was unboxing the Nimble Liner Lock and the uh, Jack Wolf laid back Pickle Jack and I unboxed a um, CWF Micro Arcadian in Topo pattern. Yeah, I remember my videos, all right? What do you want me to do? So today I went to the aquarium, Adventure Aquarium in Camden, New Jersey. And I gotta say, it was cool except when we got there we had to walk through a metal detector thingy and then this lady's like can you empty your pockets and i took out my lockback knife and my fidget toy and i'm like put it down on the table with my keys and she's like you can't have that you, you can't have that knife she's like uh you can go put it back in your car or we can take it but uh we're gonna confiscate it you won't get it back and i'm like well hold on I don't think I'm gonna leave my, uh, I don't know how much prototype that a company sent me here. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to the, the truck. And of course in my back pocket, I was rocking a rask and I'm like, you ain't getting my rask, baby. Um, and my dad goes, my dad literally, cause I, it's me, my wife, our kid who's two, it was her birthday. So we were going there and my parents and my dad goes, he goes, oh, why like, well, you got to bring the knife, Kev? You know, he's like that, right? He's always like, stop flicking your knife. And, you know, he's, I don't know. He's definitely not a liberal, but he's like fucking, he just didn't grow up, you know, uh, camping and fishing and, and or shooting guns and shit, that kind of stuff. So it's, you know, knives. Anyway, he's like, oh, he's like, where do you got to bring the knife, Kev? And then she goes, can I see your bag, sir? And I'm like, all right, I'm going back to the truck to put my knives away. And my dad turns around, he's like, here. And he hands me his Swiss Army knife. And he's like, here, take this too. They won't they won't let it in. I'm like, you mother. Why are you going to bring your knife, dad? <laughs> it was great. Um, all right, so EDC update. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Not much has changed. Uh, today I am carrying a fulcrum. I will say that I brought this because I was going to the aquarium. I don't know. I was going out somewhere. It was a longer drive, like... Even though I have, a, I actually have a dedicated truck fulcrum. <laughs> so I keep a bunch of stuff in the truck. We could go through that. So I have this fulcrum here. I swapped the uh, clips on them just because I thought it'd be cool and it would kind of uh, keep this clip safe while this is the one I carry. You know what I mean? I keep that in the truck. I keep a Swiss Army knife. Uh, shout out to Mark Kaufman. He uh, gave this to me. Thank you, dude. I'm going to keep a bunch of bits. Uh, and then I have like a multi-tool thing. I have the uh, Sencut Waxahachie right here, which I thought was a Terzula design in the video, but I think it's just Terzula's like clip des or a sheath design or something. Uh, that's what somebody told me. Anyway, it's actually a really comfortable knife. Uh, I've never had to use it, it just sits in my truck. It is made out of D2, I think. Oh, it might be 9CR because it's not rusting. Is that a... Oh, oh, nope. That's from the sheath. Yeah, it's 9CR and it's got a little oil on it. So it hasn't rusted at all, which is good. Uh, and then I keep my Tomahawk. I have a custom from uh, Pearson Custom Knives. Shout out to Ryan Pearson. Great dude. Um, I have this... Pearson Custom Knives Tomahawk that I keep in my truck uh, in case the zombie apocalypse breaks out. I'm good to go. Um, I do need to get somebody to sharpen it, I think. And I've cleaned it of rust a few, uh, not a few times, I cleaned it of rust recently. A couple months ago, I really cleaned it over, used uh, flits, used all the good stuff because uh, it was starting to get uh, a good patina and rust on it from just sitting in the truck, sadly. Uh, and then I put knife shield on it and she's gorgeous. There's no, I mean, it's not uh, showing any rust now. So there you go, guys. Knife shield is the shit. So check out KPL knife shield. Love that stuff. Uh, and check out Pearson custom knives. 
I need to hit him up to get a kitchen knife at some point. I was waiting on one from CJ Miller, but I, I don't think he's gonna be making those. So that's the stuff I keep in the truck. I got other stuff, but um, that's kind of the main stuff in here. But anyway, I carried a fulcrum today kind of randomly. I have not been carrying, that's kind of an update for me. I have not been carrying a fulcrum um, regularly just because I haven't really needed it. The only thing I was using it for really was uh, taking toys apart and stuff for my kid, like batteries and stuff. But I'm always at somebody's house when that happens. And they usually have a screwdriver laying around. So... It kind of has gone by the wayside because I've been carrying multiple fidgets every day, which I know is weird. And I guess that's part of this update too. I haven't really done an update since I got into the fidget thing. So I've kind of sacrificed the fulcrum to carry fidgets because I can't have like 90 things in my pockets. And I really haven't like, I've been in like one situation where I needed a bit driver to tighten a pivot on a knife I was carrying and I was like, fuck, wish I had my fulcrum. But that's it, one time in like two months. So, um, knife-wise, I have the Best Tech Tonic prototype on me. This is a uh, CM Knife Designs design. Uh, Colin, my partner on Devo Knives, designed this. This is his project with Best Tech. I'm not involved in any way. This is actually his first design that he licensed out. Uh, it took them about two years to bring this to market, and he has a unique, what he calls an inset, inset ball backlock system, where there's actually a ceramic ball on the inside of the lock bar in there, so that when it rides against the tang of the blade, it's very smooth, and this is also on bearing, so what you get from that is a knife that you can flick real easy that is a lockback. It's unusual to have a lockback that flicks out like that. Usually it's a pain in the ass to flick a lockback. This is real easy to flick. Now the one downside to it is the placement of the ball and where it is means that when you come out like this, this happens, you get kind of stuck right here. You got to ramp onto that ball. Now it's not like an axis lock or um, a shark lock maybe where it's like super weak or anything, there's spring tension. So you're not like gonna shake it out to that point, right? It's just when you when you use your thumb to depress it. So you can do two things. You can just flick right past it. Sorry, I didn't. You can just flick right past it. You'll never even know it's there. But if you go to like slow roll the knife, you'll kind of notice that spot. And then what you do is you just overcome that. The ball pops onto the tang and then it goes by that. But the cool thing is you can kind of like ride the, the lock out to there and then flick, and it kind of like acts as a detent. It kind of is right there, it, it hits that wall, and then it flicks past it, so it kind of acts like a detent. It's very interesting. And I think uh, we're working on a backlock design with Devo, and we're gonna mess around with where that ball gets placed. So we might be able to dial it into where it's it's right at the, right at the point where you flick that it breaks through that and it'll essentially act as a detent on a backlock, which will be pretty cool. But anyway, this knife is awesome. It's called the Tonic. It's gonna come in this variation with my Carta uh, and this bead blasted blade. Then there's a satin with marbled carbon fiber and there might be a third one with just regular carbon fiber. I'm not sure, um, but it's really cool. Uh, he just, he did a great job with this. It has a reversible clip milled clip looks great you have the two screws down there in a little slot it's not really in the way the ergos are utterly fantastic i've already cut shipping labels with this guys this thing's amazing i'm buying at least one probably two of these um par partially because colin's my partner and i want to support him but mostly because i love this knife and i'm getting into backlog so that is the tonic from best tech and then i was rocking the uh rast today because i wanted to rock my blue abadi abadai uh carry today because i'm wearing a blue shirt blue shorts i got on blue socks and white shoes with blue accents and i just figured i needed something blue on me so i got this blue rask right here i've had this one for a couple months you guys have seen it on the channel um, and yeah, it's still around. It's one of those knives that I've picked up a couple times when I'm going to sell stuff and I'm like Do I sell it like I could you know, I could get close to a thousand dollars for this right now That would really help when I'm trying to recoup funds 
but it's just in that it's in that realm of knives with the Rosie and my Trevor Burger Urban and my uh, Factor and my FSD and my Evo and it's just in that kind of batch where they just aren't going anywhere those are just the knives that are stuck in my collection in that front row just kicking ass um, and I truly just love the knives and I, I can't get rid of them um, and this is the best flipper only knife I think there is on the planet it's just so good so that is the Grimsmo knives rask love it um, and then of course I had my CWF micro Arcadian I did sell the other one the topa pattern one I just don't need two flashlights. I have like five batteries that, you know, I can just swap batteries. And I got this beautiful Timascus clip at, uh, Zerkutai, sorry, at uh, Blade Show. I got it off of Charles. Charles Wiggins is the guy behind CWF. Charles Wiggins flashlights, CWF. Um, he's a great dude, and I'm so happy I got to meet him. Uh, what would make my life perfect is if I could get a zirconium CWF Micro Arcadian to throw this clip onto. Oh, man. If I could get a Zerk one of these, it would really just, that would be the perfect EDC flashlight in my opinion. I love this light so much, guys. It's not even funny. I, I do still want another one. I think that Topo pattern one, just it wasn't for me. Um, a Zerk one, I would sell this one and just keep the Zerk one probably. Um, that would be my, that's like my grail flashlight. Um, but it, you know, it's going to be like $900 for the light. So we'll see if I ever pull it off. I also have to find one, but I love that thing. Uh, then I have my titanium, uh, pill container that I carry my medication in. This thing is awesome. I never put it on a key chain or anything. I just rock it in the pocket. Um, it's kind of waterproof. It did. This thing has been fantastic. It was the best $17 I ever spent. I think I got it on titanium EDC shop or something on Etsy. Uh, I have the best tech. And then I have for a fidget today. Oh, geez. And I'm really beating this thing up. I don't know what that is. Is that going to come off? Is it just wearing it? Oh, no. I think it's coming off. I don't know what that is. Anyway, this is the uh, AC EDC donut 2.0 and it is a haptic coin and apparently it needs a sheath of some kind or a slip because i don't know it's just is it just the light i mean look at that it's got all this color on it i don't know what i got on here it's just been in my pocket i scratched it up pretty good like right there uh because it was rubbing against my my knife in my back pocket or something but now i got that weird thing going on i don't know what the hell's going on with this thing but it's so good man it's so snappy it just feels really good in the hand um the donut is one of the best fidgets you can get i have a polished one as well which i think i'm gonna sell because i got this one but now i'm like ah, do i do that because like this one's just like not holding up too well i think it's just some kind of color i don't know i'll clean it off in a second um i think that's it guys and i carry uh my hank oh, yeah. renegade provisions co shout out to chris uh, he actually gave me this hank and a few other ones when i asked him if he had any like random ones laying around that's kind of a christmas hank but i don't care it's like one of his wool hanks best hanks in the game guys i clean my glasses constantly and then uh, the only other thing I have on me is these uh, glasses cleaners. I've been trying different ones. This one is the Brave Shine. And uh, yeah, I use them just to clean my glasses and then wipe it off with my Hank. So that's it. Uh, EDC game is strong. I'm always carrying a bunch of shit. I'm always loving it. Always trying new stuff. And uh, the, the biggest change is the not carrying the pry bar and carrying the fidgets. Um, I know the pry bar is more useful, but I technically use the fidgets way more. They're always getting used. And I usually have two. I usually have one in my back left pocket too, but uh, I didn't do that today because I had the rask. I didn't really want to mess the rask up at all or a fidget because it's a longer knife. Um, and I also was going to the aquarium. I just didn't want to carry all this shit, but I usually carry two and no pry bar. So 
Anyway, let me know what your EDC looks like. Do you have any changes? Um, I'd be very interested to hear that. And um, yeah, I love you guys. Big thank you to all of you for watching the channel, subscribing to the channel, leaving your comments. It is working, guys. The algorithm is picking us up a little bit. Uh, we really like struggled to get to 3,000 um, or 4,000, sorry. And we got to five pretty quick and now we're over 550 or, or 5,500. Like we're cruising to 6,000 subs already. Uh, I don't know what changed or what happened, but my view counts are way up. Um, so it, it's really uh, helping you guys are subscribing and sharing and commenting. Uh, I really appreciate it. The bigger we can grow this channel, the better it is um, for all of us. Uh, obviously for me and for Devo, it helps, uh, which ultimately, guys, my goal in life right now is to do not do youtube but do the knife thing full time uh i want to be able to do devo and lefty edc full time i've been working my ass off for two years for this um uh, and we're inching we're inching closer guys um we just got to get devo a little bit more off the ground we got to get it churning you know what i mean we got to get it churning and the channel's doing great guys i mean it it, it does help a, a little bit in terms of uh, bringing in some money. Now I spend a lot of it on stuff. So if I ever went full time, I'd have to go to getting a lot more loaners. Uh, but you know, uh, it's a dream I have and I wanna be able to do it uh, eventually in the near future. You know, I'm hoping for the next year I can do something. Um, I, I like my current job, I, my boss is amazing. Uh, but in terms of like what I'm inspired to do, it's knife stuff, you know? So I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Uh, truly appreciate everything. Um, uh, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. Come check out the live streams on Thursday night, Lefty Live, every other Saturday with Off the Edge, with Grateful Panic, uh, and, uh, <laughs> I always want to say Panda, Grateful Panic and Javon. So, uh, yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later. Peace.